Welcome back to Rise of the Republic, my friends. We are, of course, continuing in the Imperial Splendor mod as Glorious Russia. Now, we are currently, or just recently, actually, had to go to war with Austria, and that's because they are going to be defending Crimea here, um, because they actually ended up taking Crimea. What this is going to probably require is a very, very vicious and bloody fight across a bridge. As you can imagine, approaching a bridge like this, especially with this much artillery, is absolute insanity. Look at the arty they have here. It's just crazy. Um, so in the meantime, what I'm going to do is try to affect them economically, uh, attack their towns, attack their iron refineries, things like this, and really just try to cause a lot of damage to them in general. We've also got, of course, this army right here under Peter Peshov, but of course they've been in a fight this turn, so they're currently taking some time to, well, rest and recuperate. We still don't have enough money to fill up these ranks and get these guys outfitted, so that's another thing we're going to have to do. But I think that's mainly um, our goals, or the large part of our goals. And of course, how could we forget our army over here at the regional capital of Dagestan? We've got to head back in and attack the Persians, uh, or potentially just send them to the northwest um, to continue fighting the Austrians. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do, is head out over here and get to the Austrian front. That's going to be the most important thing. Persia can wait. And here we go, it begins. They're starting to attack our schools, our towns. This is going to be par for the course. We're going to have to try and beat up their armies, even with our already damaged army. It's got to be done, otherwise they'll get way too strong. Those of you that have played this particular mod know that Austria generates a tremendous amount of forces here. They've also got a few allies, um, I think actually protectorates underneath, underneath them. So this could get very, region. very dangerous for Building sure. Farms here Let's get to we'll Bakalova and see what she's talking about. All right, you know what? When she's right, we she's right. We also got cadenced marching, guys. Uh, next, we're going to be focusing on the wedge formation, which is something I wanted for the cavalry. Uh, but the problem is, even in Moscow, the workers are on strike. That's never a good thing, of course. Uh, the last thing we need is an uprising here. So I'm actually going to have to focus my building right now on Moscow. As much as I'd like to actually, you know, go ahead and help my current armies, we really need to focus here first. Get some garrison Strelzi to kind of hold on for now. We could also send our scout out there to mess with some of their armies. You know what? Wouldn't mind, actually, we might send this guy back to Moscow as well. I'd like to have him join our army, obviously, but that's not always an option. And again, even though we're pretty badly beaten up here as an army... I am going to immediately go ahead and attack. I might actually merge some of these forces together if they're extremely weak. There we go. And the same with this one. Again, not as strong an army as we're used to fielding in one of these battles, but it's got to make a difference. And I'll actually take that 24 garrison unit just to really annoy the enemy and keep him in the regional capital. We've got a general here as well, Zinoviev. Um... I'm not sure, though, if we should remain here with him, because he could end up actually being killed quite easily. So in the meantime, let's attack the Austrians. Show them never to attack Russian soil. I hope we can do it. It looks like a fairly simple battle, but we're still going to attack properly. They will learn for messing with Russia what happens. First of all, of course, deploying those cannons, ending <coughs> standard deployment, excuse me, um, and it looks like, yeah, that's, there is the enemy. Now the enemy line is starting to appear. They are in those woods. Pretty smart, the Austrians here. And, of course, they do have the cannons ready to fire. I think we should target, definitely target the cannons. And in the meantime, we're going to send forward four of our brigades. These are too small to be brigades, but you know what I mean. Uh, and we'll grab these as well. And start heading forward. Let's go, boys. We also have, I believe... Nope, nope, not a single cavalry unit. That's right. Well, one cavalry unit. The Dragunsky Polk. So we're going to bring them down over here. We're probably going to have to get into square formation. The enemy does seem to have a lot of artillery. Let's get rid of those Chevaux Lancers. 
Come on, the shovel, shovel, shit. Into the woods, boys. On the double quick. And these are just standard um, garrison battalions right here. Not all of them, but this guy is. A well-trained garrison battalion, mind you. And of all times for it to start to rain, you guys can imagine during the Age of Gunpowder, rain is going to make it very hard for you to actually load your weapons. Luckily, our cannons aren't having any issue whatsoever. This could be an opportunity to go ahead and just get rid of the artillery on their side uh, and then go after the militia units. Look at all the damn dragoons. My goodness. We are going to have to get into square formation pretty soon here. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Uh, I'm just going to get into the edge of that forest. Yeah, I hate having to go up close and personal against um, an artillery unit. That's why I'd like to get at least one shot on them. And we can hear the timber wolves already begging for blood. They know what's going to happen after this battle. There's going to be bodies everywhere. Just imagine being somebody on this battlefield and hearing that sound. That is horrifying, my friends. Fire! General's bodyguard. Let's get into square formation. Maybe it's a bit early for that, but I am superstitious. I want to get in now. Superstitious? I'm cautious. Let's put it that way. And I'm really not, so even that's a lie. All right, push forward. Push forward. Push forward. Up close and personal. See, we can charge right into that um, artillery group. Fire! Fire! We really want to put a dent in that arty, and actually I'm going to focus on the, um, the um, cavalry with this unit. Same with this unit here. Really try to knock down some of those cavalry. Yes! Got to keep that going. I might even put one of these guys in square formation, but for now we've got a pretty good volley going on, and I don't want to really change that. Look at this. Completely have them sort of closed in here. Trapped, hopefully, and we are just going to continue firing. The issue, of course, with the Austrians is they have, they feel so many men that I'm not sure this is going to make a huge difference. Um, just wiping out one small army of theirs. But we've got to do it. We absolutely have to do it. There's the canister shot. We knew that was coming. Only a matter of time, of course. Just do a few more volleys against the cavalry, and I will eventually lead a charge against that uh, that enemy artillery. Our men have been through hell and back. It will not be their first time. All right. Good work, boys. Very few of those dragoons left. Um, I'm just going to run up here. Oh, so they're not lancers. I thought these were lancers. These are just standard dragoon units. Bayonets! Last thing we need is enemy artillery on our flanks. No, we just can't allow that. I'm also going to push over here uh, and charge right through the flank here with our men. Two groups, actually. And we're going to follow through with these men as well, guys. We're going all out with the bayonets, as you can tell. Prepare to fire for the Tsarina. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. And there we go, guys. We can see the charge already breaking through the enemy artillery. I didn't think this was going to be a difficult battle, but I just wanted to be part of it. And, of course, just controlling uh, the men during a battle does increase the rank, from what I understand. Uh, actually getting hands-on here and watching them attack and kill the enemy units. There we go. That's what we want to see. Are they completely running? It looks like they might be. Some of their units have decided to charge here. The Deutsche Line Infantry. So this is a well-trained line infantry unit. And what I'm going to do is actually try to just get behind them and then do a flank attack with bayonets. No prisoners from the line infantry. I'll take prisoners from the rest of them, but these guys, they are not escaping. Hurra! Bayonets! Did you 
you saw there, we just got hit by one of our own muskets. Actually, one of our guys right in the chest. It happens, guys. It does happen. Good work. Excellent work. Now, apparently, there's still a few of them out here. Is it going to be... Yes, the Cedar meets Militia Unit. And it looks like their general also hasn't surrendered. Let's put an end to him, hopefully. The general actually seems to have gotten away just barely. He's one of the two guys here in front. He's that guy. Uh, I am going to allow the shooting to go on just a bit longer because I'd love to kill the general. Okay, boys. But of course, compared to a lot of our other battles, this one was quite a small one. Um, you know, quite quite doable by our men. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave the battlefield victorious, of course, and move on to the next part of our campaign. Obviously, we're going to have to win a lot more victories against the Austrians if we want to keep them out. And if you look at the actual casualties, this is something that I don't like. They're very, very close to one another, um, which means that, you know, the, the fighting power of our men is pretty similar um, in terms of training, etc. So, that's something we absolutely need to watch out for. Another thing we need to watch out for is keeping this army stocked up, fed, etc. And, of course, uh, in a, a nice amount of numbers to be able to take on any other army, of course. And uh, currently, we're not there. So I am, as you can see, trying to get some reinforcements. But I think, for the most part, we're going to have to replace these guys one by one. So let's move in here for now into Warsaw. We'll hold on. But look at Lenberg. Look at the massive fortress. I'm calling it a fortress. Of course, it's actually a city here. But it's the massive fortress where the Austrians have decided to, to make camp. Uh, and this is why I felt it was so important to, of course, just go ahead, get away from Crimea, and go over here, start attacking the Austrians, because they're going to be a problem for sure. But now I see this opportunity to get to the bridge i also see an opportunity to lure them out so i am going to try to lure out the austrians here and see if i can get them away from the bridge i know it's a bit of a risk um, but i think it's a worthy risk because of course if we can beat them right here we can cross we could take crimea i believe that gives us an early victory if i'm not mistaken um, and let's just hope that moscow does not revolt that's something i'm really concerned about we do not need moscow revolting at all All right, I think that's it for now. Let's end the turn. We're still bringing up this army, of course, from Persia. Aha! Our first Aust sea battle with the Austrians. Knowing how how long. The ship battles. And let me know in the comments down below, for those of you that watch this, do you enjoy the ship battles? We did have that one episode where we showed every single one of them. Um, and it's... Ship battles here are long. They can take hours, quite literally. Um, but they are, from, from what I can tell, pretty realistic in comparison to the regular Empire ship battles. Just one more turn, and we'll get quite a few reinforcements uh, from the units we've already been working on. So as long as the Austrians do not attack us for another, um, specifically in the region of Pol uh, of the, the Polish region, then I'm going to feel very, very happy here. One thing I don't like here, and we've got to keep our eyes, Rioting we've got two imams as the lower orders um, have become... that are actually spreading the religion over here in Muscovy. That could be one of the reasons why we've had um, some issues, one of the reasons why we've had, um, you know, rioting, etc. So let's just see here. Make sure that orthodoxy is stronger. Yeah, it's still at 100%. Not sure why they would send... Oh, these are scholars. Okay, okay, never mind. These are not imams. Nonetheless, I don't know why the Turks would send their scholars here. We might end up having to spy on them just to see what's going on. Make sure nothing nefarious is afoot. And you know what? <clears throat> now that we're at war with the Austrians, I'm almost tempted uh, to go ahead and build up Warsaw and just make this, you know, our new, a new stronghold. Um, it's not probably not even a bad idea. We do have the main buildings up, the Great Parliament and the Army Board, but even the Royal Academy, for instance, is a good suggestion. For now, though, we are going to try to get reinforcements to these men as quickly as possible, refit and rebuild these armies. 
All right, can we get some more? No, we're gonna have to get the rest of our forces from Vilnius, Lithuania. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I had to have my cup of coffee. Um, so here's what I think I'm gonna do. We've got, look at that, that army there. Oh no, that's their army, Never mind. I thought we had two armies over here. We do. So we've got the army over here in the eastern provinces. I'm thinking we're going to bring this one over as well. We can on the way kind of also harass the Austrian units. But my goal is to actually get these two armies together. I'm still not going to attack Crimea. But we need these guys to put a dent, let's say, in the uh, Austrian forces. In fact, right now, I'm going to send this guy to hit the actual farms here. Just to try and lure them out a bit. And I might actually end up going to Kiev to get some additional forces for this army here. Let's take our scouts and we're gonna start sending them into battle against the Austrians, really trying to affect their armies and the movement of those armies, of course. Let's just make sure everybody is, yep, it looks like it. Um, I think I'll take this guy and send him back to Vilnius. The only reason I'm doing this is so he can actually raise an army for us and potentially bring it out here. But I think we're gonna have to go a little bit farther than Vilnius. We're gonna have to go to Warsaw or maybe all the way to St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. So maybe we should get started now. Yeah, I think so. We're going to start getting some of the Mushkovi Polk. Um, I will start sending some of these units over to the front lines. But of course, leaving the main city here, for us, the main city of St. Petersburg, undefended. Uh, our capital is Moscow, but no, actually our capital is St. Petersburg. <clears throat> um, but leaving it undefended seems kind of crazy. Uh, but what can I say? I'm a bit of a crazy fellow anyway. And just to make sure, maybe we should make one of these a garrison unit. Yeah, let's do that. Because the garrison unit will appear next turn. So we'll actually get two garrison units. Thankfully, the garrison units here at St. Petersburg are pretty well trained. So even though they are the lowest form of unit, they're not too bad. They, they can stand, stand up with the best of them. Uh, as for these guys, again, I'd love to go on the offensive. You guys know how I am, but I am staying put. 378 to repair that. Damn. In fact, um, just to repair that and get the economy back on track a little faster, I'm going to stop one of these garrison polk units just to fix the farm. And we'll go from there. Well, thank you so much, guys, for watching our series. Uh, our series, Of course, it is going to uh, continue. And I absolutely want to play some more here um, as we go on. It's been an interesting journey. And we're technically only one city away from the short campaign victory. Um, but if you guys want me to continue even after the short campaign, then please do let me know. What I know for sure is that we are gearing up for a massive massive series of battles with Austria. Just look at the forces they have here. Look at the forces they have here. We have got to stand up to them, and that's exactly why we are sending everybody to the northwest. I am sure that General Zakhar Cherishov is prepared to teach them a hell of a lesson. We will liberate Lemberg. Thank you so much, guys. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your likes and comments go a long way. Take care, my friends.